Hello everyone, I'm Susan Harrison Uwe from Protein Simple, and today I'm going to walk you through the use of single cell Western technology to validate your single cell RNA seq data. Single cell technologies allow researchers to identify rare sub cell populations that play a key role in disease and to identify variation in patient treatment responses. RNA seq measures transcript levels in thousands of individual single cells in order to profile mRNA expression heterogeneity. However, mRNA transcript levels may not always correlate with functional protein levels due to changes in translational or post-translational modification, microRNA inhibition, or protein degradation. In this study, done in collaboration with the Stanford Functional Genomics Center at the Stanford University School of Medicine in California, we used our single-cell Western platform, Milo, in parallel with single-cell RNA-seq to validate our RNA data with our protein expression in a heterogeneous cell population. RNA and protein levels were shown not to correlate, highlighting the need to validate your single-cell RNA-seq data with single-cell Western technology in order to ensure accurate and complete conclusions about cellular functions. I'll start by walking you through the single-cell Western platform, Milo. You start by loading your cell suspension on an SC West chip. It contains 6,400 individual microwells and about a thousand cells from your cell suspension settle into the individual microwells. Then the chip is placed into Milo, the cells are lysed, and a brief one minute SDS page separation occurs on each single cell lysate. Then just probe with your favorite conventional Western antibody in order to detect up to four proteins per cell simultaneously. In this study, we had examined expression of HIF1-alpha. HIF1-alpha mRNA and protein levels do not correlate under normoxic conditions, but do correlate under hypoxic conditions. HIF1-alpha protein is rapidly degraded when oxygen is available. When oxygen is absent, HIF1-alpha protein acts as a transcription factor controlling expression of over 60 genes, including VEGF and EPO. HeLa cells were treated for 24 hours with 0.5 millimolar DFO, a hypoxic mimetic. A one-to-one -one ratio of treated and untreated cells were mixed. The sample was split and analyzed in parallel on, for protein expression on the single cell Western platform Milo and for RNA expression on the chromium controller system using the V2 single cell 3' solution from 10x Genomics, followed by sequencing on the NextSeq 500 from Illumina. We first tested the conditions for the simultaneous detection of HIF1-alpha protein and beta-tubulin protein in single cells. This figure shows 8 of the 6400 individual microwells on an SC West chip. Beta-tubulin, our housekeeping protein, identified the presence of a cell in 6 of the 8 microwells. Two of the microwells did not contain any cells. The image above shows the same lanes imaged in a different spectral channel. Three of the six lanes are positive for HIF1-alpha protein expression highlighted with the green boxes. Three of the six lanes containing cells were negative for HIF1-alpha protein highlighted by the blue boxes. The fluorescence intensity plots to the right of the panels show the peaks generated by Scout software for six of the lanes that contain cells. Scout software creates these fluorescence intensity plots and quantifies a variety of parameters, including total peak area, which reflects target abundance in the single cells. Single cell RNA-seq analysis identified that 100% of the cells express both HIF1-alpha mRNA and beta-tubulin mRNA. This is expected since oxygen levels do not impact the level of HIF1-alpha expression at the mRNA level. But with our one-to-one -one mix of normoxic and hypoxic cells, we expect 50% of the cells to not express HIF1-alpha at the protein level. Single cell Western analysis with Milo identified that 46% of the cells were positive for both HIF1-alpha protein and beta-tubulin protein, while 52% of the cells were positive for beta-tubulin and HIF1-alpha protein negative. This is the expected result with our one-to-one -one mix of normoxic and hypoxic cells, since the normoxic cells have degraded the HIF1-alpha protein. As expected, single cell mRNA expression levels do not reflect the functional protein expression levels in single cells. This highlights the need to validate your single cell RNA-seq results with a single cell protein analysis technology to ensure that you can draw accurate and complete conclusions about cellular function. Milo is the world's first single cell Western platform. 
He measures protein expression in thousands of single cells in a single run so you can profile heterogeneity in your sample. Since mRNA expression transcript levels do not always correlate with functional protein levels in single cells, it is important to validate your single cell RNA-seq data with single cell protein expression analysis in order to understand cellular function. Because Milo uses the large Western catalog of antibodies and can detect proteins regardless of their location within the cell, he is the only platform with the versatility to detect diverse targets that you may identify in your sequencing run. To learn more about Milo, please visit the Milo webpage. Thank you.